Hello Kauai, this is your County of Kauai briefing for Monday, March 14th. I'm pleased to announce that we will be giving another round of free home test kits before the end of the month. Test kits are expected to arrive on island today, purchased by Department of Health using federal funding. We will send out a schedule of where and when you can pick them up later this week. We are so thankful that our case numbers continue to drop. Mahalo to all of you for your sacrifices over the past two years. We are ready to ramp back up if another variant of concern emerges in the future. For now, we will continue scaling back our emergency operations as we move past the crisis phase of this disease. The State Department of Health announced that beginning this week, they will be reporting the case numbers once a week, rather than every day. The state's weekly case numbers will come out every Wednesday. In accordance with lower case counts and the good trajectory we are now on, KDHO will no longer provide daily case count updates for the county. Instead, residents can find county-level weekly updates on the Department of Health website. From our first confirmed case here on Kauai over two years ago, we felt it was important to keep our community informed by sharing information about new cases as we learned about them. In order to do that, our Kauai District Health Office has provided a daily case summary and our county communications team worked seven days a week to publicize those daily numbers. KDHO will continue to track and respond to cases every day, but will no longer issue summary reports. Mahalo nui loa to everyone who gave up their weekends and holidays to keep our community informed. We never imagined we'd still be doing daily updates two years later. We are so grateful that we finally reached the point where we can cut back on resources. You can find the latest information about cases on Kauai and statewide on the Department of Health's COVID-19 data portal. Visit health.hawaii.gov forward slash coronavirus disease 2019. We also have a link at koi.gov forward slash COVID-19. For more, we turn to Koi District Health Office Deputy Director Lauren Guest. Thanks, Mayor, and many thanks to our Kauai District Health Office and National Guard case investigation and contact tracing team who worked tirelessly for the past two years to keep our community safe. We will continue providing weekly video updates and we will let you know right away if the case count begins to rise again. As Mayor Kawakami mentioned, we will no longer be providing daily case count updates for Kauai. Mahalo to the mayor's team for their assistance in helping us provide these daily updates for the past two years. KDHO staff are working to clear a backlog of cases reported during the Omicron surge, which require manual data entry. These cases have already been reported locally, but will be added to the state DOH data tables in the weekly reports between now and the end of the month. This means that there will be about 350 cases added over the next few weeks that we have already reported on. These are not new cases and do not represent a rise in cases. This backlog developed due to the unprecedented case counts experienced on Kauai during the Omicron surge and is not expected to recur. We do have one cluster we are monitoring at this time. We've confirmed 21 cases in a food supplier occupational setting. Everyone involved has been offered testing and directed to isolate. The good news is our case counts continue to drop. Today, for the first time in about a year, we are reporting zero new cases for Kauai. Today's cases bring the number of active cases to 27, with two hospitalized. Since our first case was confirmed just over two years ago, we've confirmed 12,030 cumulative cases on island. Our community has experienced 27 fatalities from COVID-19 in 24 residents and three visitors. We are thankful that no deaths have been confirmed during the month of March. Thanks, Lauren, and mahalo to everyone at the District Health Office and National Guard who are critical to our success by staffing our testing centers, contact tracing, and airport screening. The National Guard's activation is ending now, after two years of service to our community. Governor Ige announced last week that the statewide indoor mask mandate will end after March 25th. There are lots of questions about this announcement so let's bring in Koi District Health Officer, Dr. Janet Berriman. Dr. B, what should we expect when the state's mandate expires? Thanks, Mayor. There will be a lot more variation than there has been, but we will still be using masks in some situations. For the time being, federal requirements are still in place for wearing masks in airports, 
on planes, and on public transportation. We'll still need to wear masks when traveling or riding the bus. Healthcare settings will continue to have their own requirements regarding the use of masks. Businesses and organizations may choose to require masks at their locations or events. Most importantly, each of us will need to decide when and whether we want to wear a mask. People at increased risk of severe COVID are likely to want to continue wearing high quality masks, especially when indoors with large numbers of people or in crowded or poorly ventilated areas. People who live with or care for someone at increased risk may also want to wear a mask. And the choice of wearing a mask will remain freely available to anyone, including those who just feel cautious or not quite ready to stop that layer of protection. Dr. B, does that mean you think it's too early to lift the mask mandate? No, I think the timing of lifting the mandate later this month is appropriate. Case counts are steadily falling, not only here in Hawaii, but also nationwide. We should enjoy gathering and traveling with fewer restrictions than we've had over the last two years, while continuing appropriate precautions. The governor said that if circumstances change in the future, if there's a new variant causing a large surge of severe disease or threatening to exceed the capacity of our healthcare system, he would consider putting a mask mandate back in place. That's an important safeguard. Fortunately, we know that wearing high quality masks is an effective tool and it has served Hawaii well. We'll be able to protect ourselves in future should the need arise. Thanks, Dr. B. We lifted the final COVID emergency rule for Koi County earlier this month. There are no longer any restrictions on gathering sizes or limits on restaurants and gym capacity. And there are no mandatory requirements for events, but we encourage large event organizers to continue safety practices. If you travel, we encourage you to take a post-travel test three to five days after you return. Our testing centers at the convention hall and the mobile van have plenty of capacity now and there's no need to line up early or use a home test kit if you have one. For a full list of testing sites, visit koi.gov forward slash COVID test. Mahalo Koi for working together to make our community one of the safest places to be.